Hawa, the boy who spoke with Moses. Hawa Felipe was born on February the 2nd, 2007 in the countryside of Santa Catarina in southern Brazil. When he completed the first month of life, his mother had a dream. She saw him on a hospital stretcher as she was praying that Our Lady of Aparecida would save him. Two weeks later, they discovered a problem with the baby's heart. The mother then promised Our Lady that she would take him to the sanctuary of Aparecida if he survived. The prayer was answered. At the age of four or five, still unable to read, Hoa began to tell his mother about a baby found in the river. The name of the baby was Moses. The mother, who at the time knew little about Christianity, thought her son was just telling stories. In time, the boy explained to her, little by little, the entire biblical passage about the prophet. He revealed to his mum that he was going to the world of Moses, and there he was learning the history directly from his new friend. His mother heard him talking about God, the importance of saying the Hail Mary, and much more. On one occasion, she was told to ask for forgiveness because the boy did not remember the correct word. The boy then explained to his mum it was something she had done at the wedding and needed to apologise to the priest. She understood the request and went to confession. Around the age of seven, Hoa started talking about the final battle of good against evil and that the end times are near. He said that he will fight together with St. Michael to defend a shining place and that God and the enemy are each gathering their people. With horror, he commented that the soil would turn all purple as the battles progressed. He taught that it is necessary to go to confession, pray the rosary, read the Bible and receive the Eucharist. When he spoke about God, everyone in the school stopped to listen. In 2020, the boy was seen praying to spend more time with his family. About two months later, on May 16, he was called to God. During the first month after his death, Hoa appeared daily in his younger brother's dreams to play with him. There are many more stories. His mother kept this treasure at Hoa's request during his short life and now shares it with us. I invite everyone to pray for Hoa Felipe and his family. May little Hoa participate from heaven in the great battle and defend us alongside St. Michael and his friend Moses.